Hello, my name's Alan Paul and this is an unboxing video that we're doing here at Surprise Day Games for our latest game, The March of Progress, and I'm Alan Paul, the designer. Uh, just to avoid glare on the camera, I've taken the liberty of unshrink wrapping this particular copy. Uh, we can see the lovely artwork from Clements France there, the soldiers, and on the side we can see that this is number three in our pocket campaigns series which started with the Cousins War. There's a lovely soldier here and the back of the box we can see a bit of the content and that we have partnered with Two Tomatoes and Frosted Games so you can get this game in English, French, Spanish and German. So let's have a look inside without further ado. Removing the box. Okay, what have we got here? Well, we have a bunch of quite large cards. Let's take the shrink wrapping off these. Now, there is a little strip around the centre that you can use. Take these off, which makes it a lot easier. Although I have got some scissors in case it gets a bit iffy. So, let's get those off. There we go. These are the same size cards as our Cousins of War card, which is 75 by 105 millimetres, so they, they are nice and chunky, and they have a good, good feel to them, nice and large. Uh, and we'll start with the cards. There is there is a whole bunch of wooden pieces as well, and rules and things. We'll come back to those in a second. So let's have a look at the cards. So what have we got here? Well, we have the cards for the. Introductory scenario. They've, they, they've actually produced the cards in a in an order, in a sequence, which is quite rare. So that's eight cards you get for the introductory scenario for red. There's a or orange rather. There's an orange country card, initiative card, blue, orange, and a similar set of cards for the blue player. I'll I'll focus in on these in just a second with a country card there, and a neutral country card, and the sequence of play as well, sequence of actions. So if we zoom in on that a bit, we'll have a look at some of those first cards. So, look at one of the country cards. They've come out extremely well. You can't quite see, you can't quite see the detail of the map behind there, because the video isn't, hasn't got quite enough clarity for that. But you get the general picture of that. Zoom out again. And some of these other cards you can see here we have the attack card with the nice meeples representing the soldiers on it. Strength card. All with the same nice logistical collection on the back. So that's the cards for the introductory scenario. So just put those to one side quickly. Uh, because we also have a whole bunch of cards for each scenario. And I will just zoom in a little bit more so we can see these a bit better. So we've got the Age of Marlborough, the play aid there, the Age of Marlborough. We have separate um, cards for countries for that particular scenario, including the Spanish Netherlands there. And this one, and you probably can't see it very well, but you zoom in, you, there is a, the background there is actually the uh, Battle of Blenheim, 1704, which is a battle fought in Bavaria between primarily the French and the English. Nice bit of historical, historical colour, and we have uh, the Napoleonic scenario cards, of which there are many. I won't go through all of these in detail. So we have um, there's the here we have the Napoleon card at the bottom there. You can see if you discard attack, you get plus one per French army in addition to your normal plus one if you use that card to show the power of Napoleon. The nice, uh, nice French Napoleonic infantryman here reminds me quite of airfix figures. Um, that's those. Italian states, German states card. World War One in the West, another 
one of our favourite scenarios actually, quite a nice one. Symmetric scenario. Um, Players on both sides. A um, bunch of cards for those, and then further on, oh, we've got period period soldiers here as well. Zoom in a little bit. Here we go, some World War One Germans, very stylized figures. Look quite good. And then we have the World War Two in the West cards as well. Again, um, a nice play aid to help you during the game. And um, period period figures for the soldiers. And we have an allied infantryman advancing. And we have um, air power. Right. Some German. There's a German officer for the the Blitzkrieg card. If you Discard a move one or a move two, you get plus two for combat strength instead of plus one. That one, and so on. Oh, the V weapons. Let's come out rather. Let's come out rather splendidly, I think. The V weapons card as a V two. And World War Two variant cards as well. With variant, um, variant country cards for those particular variants. And finally, three cards which are specific for our three-player variant which was introduced during the Kickstarter campaign. So those are the um, those are the cards for the game. Let's put those to one side. And we have the wooden pieces. Let's cut these so we've got them here. Right, so we have here oh, lots of stuff. So we have Orange dice, these are used for marking victory points and army strengths. It's orange player dice and blue player dice. It's a nice dark blue. I like the dark blue. If we look at the we focus in on the on the on the blue armies, you get an idea of uh, how nice those look. It's dark, nice rich dark blue there. It's just rather good. And orange arms too. Okay. White dice for neutral country cards. Let's put these over here. And a whole bunch of victory point cubes. Standard white white cubes are one victory point, you get twelve of those, and the black ones are five, so you get um, six six of those. So that's your your whole bunch of wooden pieces too. <clears throat> now what we also have, as you'd expect, is we have a rule book and we have a scenario. We have a scenario book as well here, which you should look at. So rule book actually it's come out pretty nicely. I like the way this has actually come out. Not, the text isn't too small. Uh, I know you, it probably looks quite small in this video, but in in person it's it's nicely readable. Set up game set up all the actions and the, at the back you've got an example of play as well so that should be I think easy to pick up and another booklet is the scenario booklet we've been through this now a little bit with the cards you've got the Age of Marlborough here rule changes setup changes for that Napoleonic one similarly rules changes World War in the West World War Two in the West and at the end the three player scenario rule book as well now, finally, in the box, you have a whole bunch of Ziploc bags. Now, I decided, because this is the way I sort mine out, that it might be a good idea to have quite a lot of these because it means you can put your you can put your your scenario cards uh, in their own Ziploc. So I can keep all my Age of Marlborough cards, um, for example, in a nice big Ziploc bag. That. So if I want to play that scenario, I can just take those cards out, take out the standard cards for that scenario, and just substitute the Age of Marlborough cards for the ones in the standard uh, uh, introductory game here, and then I can play that particular scenario. And each scenario can have its own bag, uh, making it much more much easier to play a selected scenario. So there we have the whole of the March of Progress. Let's just put that there. You can see it. And there we have it. 
to much of progress. Thanks for watching.